Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to stop growing that Nesquik in the backyard. Definitely stop rolling those fat doobies around because today we got a massive plot twist, okay? Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders because apparently Ubisoft has come forward and they are apologizing though. Yay. They have apologized for for the Assassin's Creed, but not for what you think though. That's the that's the 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 the, the situation, okay? Of course, the petition is now blowing up as well. You can see seventy three thousand. I mean, holy crap, <laughs> seventy three thousand, bro. <laughs> and, and this was lancé par Shimizu. Shout out to Shimizu, uh, Shimizu right now, man. Like this video. Check this. Yo, apparently, Google is in the process of soft banning or shadow banning DEI Detected .com, the website that Cabrutus Rambo, the guy who started Sweeping being detected the steam curator page uh the website that he created so essentially here what we have in this article from smash jt it says that the friend of the channel cabrutus lifelong gamer passionate about making a positive impact in the gaming community recently launched his website to have full control over content that delves into the inclusion of dei which apparently according to the journalists out there is just another way of saying the n-word yeah um, crazy, just bro. completely unhinged behavior by these people so this man started a website so he can inform people about the games that are being made by activists and not passionate devs and he gets bumble cloud right now. Yeah, free speech my ass. Free speech my ass. We'll continue. The site DEI Detected informs consumers about games influenced by DEI ideologies during development and spotlights uh, DEI free games that align with traditional gaming values without attempting to re educate or influence perspectives. Personally, I think it's a fantastic idea. For a while, yeah, I was like, you yeah. know, the whole Sweet Baby Ink Detected or DEI Detected curator page is fine, especially when you're shopping for games. It pops up whenever you're looking at a game that's on the list, but it's not for everybody because not everybody uses Steam. So a website for this is actually a fantastic idea. Unfortunately, yeah, according yeah. to this article here, it says searching for DEI Detected on Google yields no results for the website DEIDetected.com, a stark contrast to its visibility on other search engines like DuckDuckGo and Bing, where the site is easily accessible. Now, the funny thing was, before I started filming the video here, I'm like, okay, I want to check this out for myself. And sure mm. enough, when you put in DEI Detected website, you'll see like a Reddit post, a whole different uh, No Mutants Allowed, um, Cabrutus has a video about it. Uh, well, sorry, this is from, I believe, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Sweet Baby Ink Detected Curator <laughs> yeah. launches DEI Detected website from Niche Gamer. Steam has the curator page here, yeah. videos about it, a whole bunch of stuff. Damn. But um, nothing that takes you to the website itself. You even have so yeah, they literally have shadow banned. Oh, they they have gang. Uh, I cannot say that word on YouTube. Uh, they literally have shadow banned the website. And, and there we go, boys. There we go. Uh, th that that's what's up. Because all what the man wanted was uh, he wanted to inform the public. Okay, so this game is being made by passionate devs. Okay, you can if you like it buy it. And this game, this these games are being made by the activists that hate gamers. Because the activists, yeah, they have said it. Like they don't like gamers the gamers are toxic the gamers are yeah. but manipulative uh, how many times they label you toxic how many times they label me as toxic problematic uh, it's like this happens nowhere bro the customer is always considered like a god bro whenever you walk inside a like a like a shop or you're looking for to buy a product they will absolutely try to butter your toast they will absolutely try to make sure they provide you with a good service but it only happens in gaming that you're like uh, i i wish that the game was 60 fps i wish there wasn't any re-educational content in my games because yeah bro like i i work uh, 20 000 hours a week right uh, I go to school, I, I, you know, I, life is as busy, life is as hectic, life is as crap as it already is. I want to come home, I just want to play for a little bit, I just want to chill out, I want to relax, uh, I want a good game, I want a 60 FPS game, I don't want no woke bull squash, I don't want no re-educational content in my game, and simply for that they call you and they label you toxic problematic. So this, uh, this man, he was like, okay, let me create a website and I'll tell you all the games that are being uh, linked and affiliated by Sweet Baby Inc., uh, the activist, right? And, and you're, you're gonna be able to make a decision. Either If you want, you can buy it. If you don't want, you can not buy it. It's gonna be up to you, right? But I'm gonna just make sure you're, you're informed, right? And people are like, yeah, good shit, brother. Go shit. And now they're shadow banning. So free speech, my ass. This website here, this, uh, sorry, this link here for Gabrutus' YouTube video talking about how deidetected.com is being shadow banned, but nothing for the actual website itself will go page number three here still nothing and i'm sure if i keep going we're still never going to get there so it seems like there's an active attempt among a lot of these search engines again with the games media i'm not saying inclusion because that would just be conspiracy territory right but it just seems like across the board there are various forces working against people who are pushing back against dei that kind of brings us to tonight's topic assassin's creed shadows a game that has been shielded for long and hard by the games media damn man he's a walking tower like look at that man all the japanese homies are like bowing down to him like damn homie and he's like ata boy ata stop boy <laughs> Pump the brakes, brother. And this is where the hip hop beat comes. So check this, huh? Keep walking. Uh oh. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. 
Or maybe it's right here. It's right here, I think. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, this is very tight. Damn, bro, like, they're stereotyping the living crap out of the black culture with all that, like, hip-hop music for Yasuke, like, the, by the way, the hip-hop music is actually good, though, the problem is not the hip-hop, the problem is, they are putting hip-hop music for Yasuke, especially in feudal Japan, right, the only black character they put in the game, and they made him gay on top, and it's not historically accurate, meanwhile, they said that the game was supposed to be historically accurate, and later on, they said that it's fiction, when people started, like, all of these petitions, and, or no, before the petitions, when, people started finding out right so media the journalists out there telling you that yes yasuke was a samurai he was the bestest samurai ever he was the savior of japan he was better than anybody else had ever lived better than any japanese samurai and you must love this game because it's 70 dollars and you can pay 130 dollars for it because reasons that's just how ubisoft and the current triple or quadruple game industry works they're going to tell you you need this product without giving you any legitimate reason why so now what we're seeing is a petition from japanese players japanese gamers uh trying to cancel assassin's creed shadows i mean yeah. I, I talked about this petition in the previous video about this game and i was like you know that's a nice idea i think at that point I had like 25,000 signatures. I'm like, okay, that's cool, whatever. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Well, this article from Screen Rant back uh, three days ago was commenting on how the petition had hit 50,000 signatures. And of course, yeah, they have a translation here saying the lack of historical accuracy and cultural respect has been a serious issue regarding the upcoming game Assassin's Creed Shadows by game developer Ubisoft. The game Wait is based in Japanese or based on Japanese samurai and ignores the fact that samurai were a higher class of warrior and should have been gokenin or servants of nobles. It then goes on to say that the game is a serious insult to Japanese culture and history, suggesting its creator's intent may be uh, linked to Asian racism, before calling for the game's release to be cancelled until Ubisoft shows sincere research and respect for Japanese history and culture. Now, we've uh, talked in our previous videos about a lot of the problems uh, that this game has uh, had. Uh, the hip-hop uh, music that they gave Yasuke as he's smashing uh, in these Japanese guys' skulls. You've got the Tori gates and without the Shinto shrines, completely different pieces of architecture in the wrong place. Uh, wrong style of, uh, again, architecture being Chinese instead of Japanese. Banners that they stole from a reenactment. Like, it's like the same thing, right? Like, uh, I, uh, when a Japanese homie comes in and I say ni hao and I start the this one here, right? Of course, I'm doing it for the jokes here, for the memes here. But, like, we're talking about Ubisoft. That's a billion-dollar company, right? And, 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 I mean, it's a corporation, brother. It's a, it's a big-ass company. They have all the researchers. And, indeed, they hired a researcher, a Japanese researcher, with, which happens to be a liberal white woman. <laughs> So go figure, go figure, they're, go figure, yeah, absolutely, bro, like, uh, they're really, really ruining their history, uh, and, and all that, and of course, like, they're stereotyping the black homies as well, uh, I've been reading all my black homies, uh, comments, some of you guys are like, eh, it's whatever, uh, some of you are like, nah, bro, like, I ain't buying the game, bro, like, the only black character they put, they, they make him gay, and on top of that, hip-hop music, they're stereotyping the living crap out of him, now, if he was actually gay, then okay, alright, but, but like, damn, homie, like, what are we talking about? He's probably uh, sitting, chilling in heaven. He's not around, guys. He's not around, so he cannot come down here and protect himself and say that he was not. He was not, but Ubisoft is like, okay, bro, forget about everything. First of all, we gotta make you gay, bro. We gotta make you gay uh, in, in the game. It's like, holy crap, if he was okay, but he wasn't. And, and Ubisoft is like, nah, bro, like, <laughs> we don't care whether you was, whether he was or he wasn't. We gotta make him gay, though. So, and on top, they made the other chick uh, gay as well, so crazy, man. Wait group that didn't even change the lettering they just went with the original letters not understanding what it translated into a whole bunch of issues with this game and yet games like this are the ones that they hire the, the uh diversity inclusion consultants the people that are like sweet baby ink who are supposed to come and make sure your game is culturally sensitive but when it came to japanese culture and history they couldn't be bothered to find actual japanese people to talk to the crazy, crazy thing about this petition man. now is it is almost at seventy-five thousand signatures it is currently at seventy-one thousand one hundred and seventy-eight. they had 4600 people sign it today alone so this thing is gaining massive traction absolutely massive yeah, e easily 100k i was saying easily 100k before i'll still say easy 100k it might uh, might as well or might even push up to 150 as well but the craziest thing to come out of all this stuff now is this video that was released yesterday on july 6th from a japanese creator i believe his uh channel name let me see if i can see it here because again most of this is in japanese cabbage Man, for or cabbage games and of course this is his youtube video here three hundred eighteen thousand subscribers you can see he covers a lot of this kind of stuff the assassin's creed stellar blade uh vindictus defying fate a lot of the current trending cultural issues a lot of the ugly women in games fable here and all that and stuff but the best part about this is he made this ai song and i'm gonna play a little snippet for you guys again i don't know if this <laughs> so he's a to so you're saying that he's a toxic gamer just like us i mean the second you cover the fable fable correct uh, character and if you say it was a man because it's a man it's a man dressed up as a female and they're telling you it's a female no bro it's a it's a man right we know it's a man look at he looks like a man absolutely he's a is a man right so they're saying it's not a man uh, the second you say the right thing they're gonna label you as toxic and problematic bro 
like crazy man crazy so and there's a reason why they're uglifying the female characters and i'll say it again perfect example bro perfect example the goddess herself Lara croft perfectly fine character they always say gamers are misogynist gamers don't like women bro we love women what what do you mean what do you mean we love it we love them man what the hell so, uh, yeah, that's goddess, go the goddess Lara Croft character. There was nothing wrong with the character design whatsoever. And, and yeah, this is what they did. This is what this is what they did to that character. This, so the second they did that, I was like, bro, it is Joe over, bruh. Like, that's all the proof you need, bro. Like, it is It's gonna get copyright claimed or how this is gonna work, but you just have to hear this for yourself and then we'll go into the translation. This is freaking badass. Okay. Real time, let me do that. Honest to God, if they had hired this guy to make a song for this game... Dog, I was vibing, man. I begin to vibe and you pause it. They could have sold a million copies. This song alone is freaking awesome. Okay, here we go. So that's all I'm going to yeah. play of that. Yeah. Go watch his video. I'll link it down below. But Grums has the rough translation here. And I say rough because apparently this was created by AI. Wait and for so it. a lot of the words... Are when AI makes better music than Ubisoft, it's like... <laughs> but but no, make no mistake though, I actually dig. I dig the hip hop here. One second. It's here, right? Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. Oh, man. I, I do like the beat though the beat is good the beat is not the problem it's just the reason why they did it is why people are upset with it right they're probably out of order um and they don't translate into english very well but what we have here is the song apparently the lyrics say isn't that yosuke yosuke is a samurai protagonist even if he is an assassin As asakuri who had no real people it is the first time it'll be staged in japan uh, we are UBI Sunshine, but what should I do? Japan has a deep history, difficult historical research. <laughs> the Dear Child came in here, according to them, future games will include black people, which are essential. That's why I thought I'd change history in the style of a gunfight formation. Uh, Samurai Nobunaga Akechi. Yusuke happened to be there. That's all we got. Everybody lights up, good luck with your historical research. Uh, people go out of their way to learn about Japan. Shadows made behind the scenes. If released, it would be inundated with criticism. What should I do, Yusuke? Make him gay and meet uh, Nobunaga and Hori. Yusuke's pride in Japan. Tatami mats are square. Rice is harvested in the spring, and incense is burned at altars. All samurai stand without respect. We, UBI, will be immortal forever. Even even though it's Asakuri, the samurai pr uh, protagonist is still amazing. Hire an expert who knows Japanese history as a result of searching various literatures, books, and novels. And instead of hiring like a true Japanese, uh, what's this called, uh, a researcher, uh, the, the the person that would know, they hire a white liberal woman that that actually ruined all of this for Japan. And also they are stereotyping and using black people and LGBT people as shields. Like if you're part of LGBT, bro, like you you should be. They're stereotyping you guys as well. They they are really, really trying to spread hate towards your group as well. Absolutely, because this is not helping anybody. This is just making people hate each other even more, right? And it shouldn't be like that. And gamers are basically a, a, a species that just hangs out, chills with people that are cool. Gamers don't care, w w like, what's your religion, or, or, or if you're white, black, purple, brown, or if you're LGBT, straight, bi, what? Are, nah, bro, nobody cares, bro. First of all, sometimes the memes are, they, they do get out of hands, and sometimes it's jokes, but other times, uh, yeah, of course, uh, racism exists. I'm not gonna try to play it like uh, that it doesn't exist. Racism absolutely exists as well. Homophobia and all that exists as well. Of course it does. But, like, damn, bro, like, people are genuinely pissed off and fed up with all the bull squash that is being uh, put in video games and all the movies in all of them. If it was, like, in two, three movies out of 100, if it was only in two, three, maybe even ten games, out of 100 yeah okay whatever right like yeah people wouldn't have too much of a problem with it but right now it's like in every game every uh every piece of media and, and this is a perfect example right they're also changing old characters that were perfectly fine to to do to to that to that and, and the new characters all the new characters they make right now i mean even this this is absolutely pathetic though yasuke real person right real person whether he was a retainer or a samurai I, i'm not talking about it some people think he's a retainer 
<laughs> Some say he's a samurai. We saw a video from a Japanese uh, homeboy, and he just said that uh, he dug up his own history. A Japanese man dug up his own history and went to the Japanese source, and he found out that he was a retainer. So, n not my words. Not my words. And not my opinion, because I really don't know whether he was a retainer or a samurai, and I'm not even going in that direction. But he said that it's he's a retainer. People are have been fighting over on Wikipedia and changing the, the history and the definition, and people are changing 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 it to uh, li like uh, retainer to samurai to samurai to retainer so that has been ongoing so nobody knows like whether he was a retainer or a samurai oh, so there has people have been beefing with that uh, as well but they're really like using black people and LGBT people as shields uh, right now uh, and they're disrespecting both sides right now man like this is this is crazy or triple sides the lgbtq group as well the black culture and also the japanese people uh absolutely because they're making people gay that were not so they're purposely making them uh, like cr crazy insane man that's disrespectful i i give this example like imagine you right you you do something really good in your life which warrants them writing books on you making movies on you right yeah some might it might happen right where you do something crazy and you know what hundred years from now people are talking about you in schools uh, you know there are movies uh, made on you like books made on you and then ubisoft is like i'm gonna make a make a game on you right and you're like chilling in heaven and you hear that you look down on on planet earth and you find out that oh crap ubisoft is gonna make game on me oh my god mama look at me i made it they're making game on me damn it they're making game on me man look at i did this i did that i did they're gonna talk about all of it they're gonna talk about it i'm gonna feel i'm feeling blessed right now i'm in heaven i'm in chilling brother like you know people gonna learn about all the good stuff i did and people gonna be inspired the youth is gonna be inspired the youth is gonna be inspired ubisoft is like f all that we gonna make you gay Th that's what they're doing and like this is insanely yes i'm joking around i'm trying to do it for entertainment purposes but on a real though like we're talking about a real person man like yasuke was a real person and that's insanely disrespectful bruh like imagine you passed away tomorrow if you were gay and they make you gay yeah that's good right it's the same thing right like imagine you were gay you pass away and they make a game on you and they put you as a character in the game and they make you straight you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, right? Like, like, so they're literally changing people for their own narrative. So, he, of course, people gonna have a problem with it. Of course, people gonna be upset about it. Yusuke isn't that great as he, so we filled in the blanks of our history. And again, it's very rough, but you get the general idea. Again, yeah. Okay, let's actually play this, sir. Check these this. mainstream outlets just brush off their criticism. Like, uh, they, they did apologize. They did apologize. It doesn't even matter. If this was any other country or group of people, they would be all over it and talking about how awful this game is. But because it's Japan, for some reason, they just brush it all off. Not a big deal. They don't care. Because it's funny, this is basically cultural appropriation at its finest with shadows, and it's just completely ignored. Completely ignored. Well, they're not ignoring it. There's a petition right now uh, for the people of Japan. This yeah, has 50k. We well, it's now over 75. Those mm -hmm. for this. But if you remember, there was a story not that long ago. June 18th is when Grums posted it. That's yeah. when I was made uh -oh. aware of it. Of uh -oh. some artwork in the game. This banner was stolen from this group. Well, not this group, but this banner was stolen from this group. Sorry, I, I mix I mix it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This no belongs worries, to a, a reenactment group. Uh, they reenact stuff from Japanese history. Uh, the best example I can think of to compare it to is the people that do like Civil War reenactments. You know, they get all dressed up and go out and recreate battles and stuff. And they're very attention to detail oriented mm. when it comes to putting these things together. Cool little hobby if that's what you're into. I got nothing against it. I, th I think it looks like fun. Very time consuming, but fun. And they do it over there, too. Here's some pictures of them. Here they are right there. Fun fun hobby, right? No big deal. But Ubisoft stole this from that group. This is one of their banners. And, and they put they it in the game, huh? And apologized. So apologize Ubisoft Japan that. apologizes oh, for man. using Japanese reenactment group's banner without permission in Assassin's Creed Shadows. I wondered if they were ever going to acknowledge this. Uh, it will not be used in the game. They're going to use it, though, still in the art book because it's too late. Th this game is like a high school project just uh, going ultra bad right now. It's a high school project. This game is a high school project that just went <laughs> that just went bad, that gone wrong, you know what I'm saying? They, they probably already printed that. So I would hope that they got some compensation. This is the uh, group's Twitter account, Matchlock Kage. And they commented about it and said, look, they, they stole our flag. So this was the statement from Ubisoft Japan. Mm. And it says right there, they admit two pieces of concept art for the game were stolen. They were used without permission. And they apologized, and it was accepted. The art in question will not be used 
or distributed any further beyond this date, except for being included in the art book in the collector's edition. We deeply apologized for this. <laughs> we apologize for this matter. Now, for that collector's edition book, I hope uh, they are going to be compensated in some way beyond. Yeah, so they're like, nah, bro, like, F y'all. Like, okay, we're going to remove it from the game because, of course, it's just a patch, right? They're going to just patch it, uh, and they're going to remove it. But, of course, like, they have printed hard copies, I guess, of that. Uh, and, and they're gonna still go with it. Yeah, I, I hope they compensate. I hope they pay them. We're not talking about a high school project here. They're acting like it's a high school project, but we're talking about Ubisoft as a corporation. It's a company, guys. It's a company, damn it. So they really, really stole it with, and didn't even give credit. Now they got caught, they're apologizing for it. They're apologizing for being caught, not necessarily for, yeah, guys, like, oh, man, oh, my bad, like, we stole it. Like, no, no, no. They're apologizing because they got caught, essentially. On an apology? Or, like, at least if they do a second printing, that's not going to be in there. I, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I'm going to guess that these books are already printed and ready to go for when the game comes out. Yeah. Uh, but this is lazy, and they should have known better. Basically, you know what they did? They probably just Googled banners, found that one, and stole it. Now, yeah. if you were, like, in college or something or some small-time person, I guess, you know, whatever. I, I don't think it's right to do that in general, but Ubisoft has no excuse. They're a big, they're a big million-dollar corporation. What are you doing? Uh, but you know, it's embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Uh, they're, they're, like, two billion something, right? Two billion, bro scene for them and it makes them look even worse in my book because it's pretty obvious that they don't care about what japanese people think mm. just by the way they're doing this game and mm. they think it's okay to do this <laughs> mm. so I, I do like that they at least recognize it because no i didn't see any other mainstream outlet covering this at all like they were just going to let it slide because of course they would they have made no no hit pieces on this game and like i said before it's the hypocrisy here is off the charts because never forget how they acted over Ghost of Tsushima, how they had meltdowns over that game. Crazy, Massive bro. meltdowns Crazy. about how that game was racist and all that stuff because it was made by a bunch of white dudes. This game, though, has a white female narrative storyteller for the game, and it's fine, apparently, in this case. No big deal. But they they were going insane over that Ghost of Tsushima game. But this game, all good. I Man, wonder white liberal women be ruining, ruining it for everybody, bro. Like, they're using black people as shields, LGBT people as shields, and just dunking on Japan. Dunking on everybody, man. Guys, check out this video on the screen. Recently, there has been... They're after PewDiePie, though! They're after PewDiePie! If you have not seen what went down, check it out. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Truly, truly insane stuff, man. Cannot believe it, brothers.